Welcome back to episode two of the Youth Academy RTG. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the opening part to yesterday's first episode. Don't expect those sorts of skits every episode, but certainly they will be uh, the occasional one thrown in here and there if I have the opportunity and the scenario in which to do so. Thank you for all of your feedback in the comment section and your thumbs up on yesterday's episode as well. Very much A helps the channel, so please do continue to do so, and B helps me shape this save the way that you want to see it. I need some more feedback though. For the very first time in any save ever, I am going to be implementing some fan objectives. So in the comment section down below, please let me know A, what your fan objective is, and B, what you think a potential forfeit could be if I don't meet that fan objective. We obviously have our ones from the board already, although we've ticked a couple of those to this point. We've been very lucky enough to do that, and I think we should be okay in the league as well. So I'm not worried about my job at all. However, I would certainly like to keep you guys happy with fan objectives as well. I want to keep the fans happy as well as the directors. So that's where you guys come in. I'd love to know what you think I should have as a fan objective. Do try and keep them as realistic as you possibly can, bearing in mind the scenario we have at the club and the fact that we're probably going to get worse before we get better. A number of our best players are older and going to decline, and because of our lowly ranked scouts, anybody we bring in is going to be worse than what we currently have. I'm only expecting to find players via scout reports that are in the 50s. So it's going to be a tough first year. But a tough first, tough first year we're going to take on the chin. And one that hopefully will set us up for future seasons. We start with Carlisle today. We'll be ending the summer transfer window today as well. Hartlepool away from home after that. And then after simming against Preston in the Cup, we'll be playing Barrow at home. I'd like to think, I really genuinely would like to think, that we can get four points from today's three league games. A point at Hartlepool away and a win at home against Barrow. Our former club, of course. Right. Let's crack on. We'll be simming MK Dons at the end as well. But we are on match day, so let's go and play, shall we? Please do continue to drop the video a thumbs up, though. It really helps the channel and the series, so I'd very much appreciate it, of course. Plenty for you to leave your feedback for in the comment section down below. Let's try and get another point if we can. One name stands out in Carlisle's starting lineup. He stands out quite a lot, actually. Tomash Holy in goal for them. We think we've got a fantastic goalkeeper in Cunningham because he's six foot six. Mr. Holy is six foot nine. We are going to need divine intervention if we're to get the ball past him today. In a played game, we haven't yet scored. We hope to change that today. But it is not going to be easy against a man that is literally the size of the bloody goal. And they are in with Dennis already. Oh, and his shot couldn't have been more accurate. Carlisle lead inside three minutes. And I could have used a six foot nine goalkeeper. I even joked yesterday about Cunningham, if he was six foot nine, could have gotten a foot to Newport's goal. Well, if he was six foot nine, he might have gotten a hand to that one. What an accurate finish that is. First time as well. Wow. I already saw the comments yesterday, and it's going to go through my mind as many times as it does yours. Hog. Dini! Oh, but unfortunately we're not screaming. Glover! Because um, that was pretty poor. Feeny. <laughs> imagine, imagine. Hog. Feeny! Let's get that across central. Alan's touch is good enough. Hog. Feeny! <laughs> oh, no, don't do it, Chiz. Oh, that's a decent ball, you know. And Gibson is going to get to it twice and hooks it over the bar. That's a let off. He somehow managed to bumble his way through there and we very nearly conceded a second whilst it's only one. I feel like we have a chance. I know we haven't, <laughs> I know we haven't scored yet in any game we've played, but at just one, I feel like we have a chance and Evans might be that guy. He also might not be that guy. In some space. Slightly closer to goal. Like this maybe. Alan. Glover. Go on, son! Yes! Glover to the 
Florescu, your first goal scored in League 2 for AFC Chesnoid. First time we're hearing the goal sound as well. Please don't copyright strike me. AFC Chesnoid 1, Carlisle 1. Get in, Schofield read that well. Captain Fantastic. Captain Fantastic, you love to see it. At this level. Oh, dearie me. God, it's not even going to go out. Now he's going to probably score the winning goal, isn't he? Can we time this right? Oh, my God. He might be called Glover, but he put his foot through that. 2-1 to the AFC. I was writing off this Carlisle game before it even kicked off. I was like, if we get a point against Hartlepool and a win against Barrow, I'd be pleased. We're thrilled to be 2-1 up. Glover finally coming good. Top bin, six foot nine or not, Mr. Holy. You're not getting anywhere near that. 19 minutes to go between us and a debut League 2 win. We can build well. And we are doing exactly that. Hog. Glover's calling for it. He wants it. He's helped it on its way. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, just the two goals for now. No. Cunningham! What a man. What a machine. Here comes the Icelandic thunderclap. But are we... Are we thunderclapping too soon? Oh my god! That clapped its way off the bar, didn't it? A thunderous strike from the Carlisle man. But no equalising goal. Take your time and see the game out, Chez. Provided we can hold on for 90 seconds here, it's going to be three points in League Two for the first time in our club's history. And with that free kick given in our favour as well, referee set to strict, of course, in this save. That is... You know, I don't even care. Have a souvenir match ball. 2-1 win against Carlisle. Unbelievable stuff. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. And with Hartley Paul in just three days' time, we'll try and keep the momentum going. Five at the back for Hartley Paul, so they're going to be very difficult to break down. One of the slightly less talented squads in the division. But if they make themselves hard to beat, then they should be capable enough of avoiding the drop. Obviously, there is no drop in FIFA because National League doesn't exist but we're playing in our red strip for the first time and remarkably given just three days break almost everybody is at full fitness for this game as well so seemingly we have decent stamina in the group too which is fantastic news because I was slightly concerned about that and hopefully well we'll I mean we've already lasted longer than we did against Carlisle without conceding so you never know we might actually be not that bad a team sharp forward to Glover he's the overlapping run of Morris he's so fast that the rest of the team just can't cope we can't keep up with him well there's a bit of space here for Glover and that's why you don't do finesse shots with players that aren't very highly rated we've been very fortunate that we've got some half decent players off the bat here go on After the win in the last game, I'd be happy enough with that from either of the remaining two games today. Hogs in behind here, and Morris is at the back post. <laughs> he might as well have just picked it up and handed it to the goalkeeper. Scoreless at half time. And maybe Evans can find a teammate. Oh my god, he kicked it past the edge of the six yard box. What a header from Schofield! If I could manually position him a little bit closer to the goal, then that would be even better. He or oh, Glover could be on the end of this. I'm going to try and nod this down to a teammate. It's going to find Vaughan. Schofield, and he's not going to score from there. Allen could from here, though. Really good strike. Kill it with the save. Pressure is on this back line now for Hartlepool. Get up. Oh, it could fall. It's not. Well, it has. But for the goalkeeper, unfortunately, we're pressing. A goal is surely coming in this game, and we look the more likely to get it. Even I can do a step over. Oh, here we go. Buried. Good goal. Hartlepool lead by a goal to nil. Ah, there goes the clean sheet. It's been all AFC. It's Hartlepool that take the lead. Francis is there to pick up the pieces, though. Hog will look for 
Glover again, find him inadvertently, and Vaughan! It's Evans, not Vaughan! Equaliser! How is that for a first-time finish? I reiterate, super low-rated players, higher error on shots with the sliders, but wham! That was stuff of Premier League quality from Evans. Pick your spot, pal. Guide it into the top corner. <laughs> we are level, lads. Oh, that's a nice ball down the line. Ferguson's in here and they've got a number of bodies. I think it's more of a dodgy touch by the man in the middle that saw it find his teammate. But what a stop from Big Cunningham. Field is coming off the bench for Glover. I'm having to bear in mind the stamina of some of my better players here with... Whoa! With games coming thick and fast in the month of August. That header came thick and fast, however. Jesus wept, Mr Jennings. The power on that and the accuracy as well. I mean, if the man on the line would want to have a look at the ball and just kick it away, that would be lovely. But Jesus wept. He's literally just... <laughs> Francis! <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Not playing musical statues. Where is Schofield going? He's off! Where's he going? Why are you doing that? I've not got that in your object in your instructions. Jesus Christ, man, calm down. <laughs> What's gotten into him? Evans out to Francis. I probably Well, if if I were playing with high-rated players, I'd have played that first time. Hog. Oh my god. Field! Off the bench! Last gasp equalizer for the man that's playing his first minutes for the club! Apparently, even though he's super low rated, we've got two strikers we can count on for goals in this team. It's 2-2 away from home. No defeat today. Don't. Just don't. Please. Please don't. Four minutes added on. This isn't the World Cup, mate. Blow your bloody whistle. Featherston. We were all waiting for the foul. He's given a goal kick. He's given a goal kick. Well... I was, after yesterday's episode, slightly worried that we might not score goals. We've just scored four in the last two games. I am no longer concerned about our lack of ability to put the ball in the back of the net. We're not keeping clean sheets, but ultimately the league position will outweigh the lack of clean sheets, I hope. Although Brand Exposer does have a higher expectancy from the board. I'd quite happily stay in League 2 for 10 years if it was going to be this entertaining the whole time. But the aim, of course, is to get to the top flight. And we'll do that as soon as we possibly can. Barrow are our former Youth Academy RTG side, of course. They have a decent team, actually. A scarily good team, as it happens. But for the time being, their 4 2 3 one will face off against ours. And I think, I think theirs is better than mine. So... I am expecting defeat here. This actually was a game I had my eye on winning. Now I've seen their team. I'm glad we got the win against Carlisle because I don't think we're going to get the win here against Barrow. It just seems that even though it's one of his best stats, he's still not very good at it. Alan Evans. Oh my God. Oh my God. Vaughan! What a goal it would have been. When moves like that come together... Because we've got such terrible players and because we know that the sliders make things even more difficult, when moves like that do come about, we know we've absolutely earned it because they're so hard to do. Morris with a dead pass. And that is what we're more likely to see more often than not. Although, we are putting together some decent football here. Breaking down the right. Trying to keep up with him. Whoa! Not even a yellow. He's, he's made a note in his book, but he's not giving him a card. We saw someone get sent off for less than that earlier in the season. Ripple of applause around the ground for such good football. Sharp. Overrun it a little bit. Oh, but a mistake. Mistake from Barrow. I just couldn't. I needed the extra turn. Another mistake from Barrow. Oh, my Lord. What are they doing? Let's go! 
That is calamitous to say the least from Barrow's backline. Multiple times gifting possession back to us. Initially I tried to turn and shoot with Glover and he just kind of shot really without doing the turn. And I've gotten so lucky but Tommy Hogg has himself his first goal in an AFC Chesnoid shirt and we have ourselves another lead at home. Is this becoming a bit of a fortress already at Patreon Park? You shall not pass! Oh dear. Barrow are going to be dangerous for the rest of the game. But I tell you what, Cunningham is playing out of his skin this season. I can't quite believe he's as low rated as he is. 60 apparently. He's playing more like 90 at the minute. Sharp. Forward to Vaughan. And out to Morris. No, you don't. Oh! <laughs> Bye. Loft it. Straight to no one. Ruined that, didn't I? Touch by Sharp. Otherwise, we might have been in. Oh, it's brilliant from Gotts. And he's in behind. And surely he'll score here. The big frame of Cunningham comes in handy again. And Schofield too. I do like a six foot six man. I tell you that much. Bloody hell, lads. This is getting a bit chaotic. Go on, Evans. Go on, son. Go on, Evans. Go on, son. Go on, Evans. Go on, son. Top of the bar and over. We have had to get a little bit lucky with our goal. And occasionally a little bit fortuitous at the back as well with them wasting chances. But we've got an unlucky there. Schofield steps in. And I'm not sure what happens. His studs might get caught in the grass perhaps when he tries to step across here. And, well, I don't know. I can't explain it to you. It's 1-1. Intercepted well by Wade. Fresh legs off the bench doing the business. Mm, but is it going to be the tired legs at the back that cost us? Not on this, or maybe on this occasion. Mm, still maybe on this occasion. Whitfield. Oh, my Lord. Get out. Well, we very nearly lost it with a few minutes to go. No! We have lost it with a few minutes to go. Billy Waters. Oh, he's given it the big one as well. Son of a bitch. Oh, frustrated with their first goal, but the second, fair play. I said I expected or hoped for four points from t today's three played games, and well... That's what we're going to get, not in the games I expected to get them in. Well, to be fair, I thought I'd get the draw against Hartlepool. But the win came in the opposite game. Not to worry. I mean, I'll take four points from those three games. And I would have taken them at the beginning of the day if you'd asked me. But to lose that late on, to concede in the 79th and then 90th, is pretty gutting. Not to worry, we've got a game in the cup to sim between now and deadline day, but I'll show you deadline day because you will be interested in it, I'm sure, to see what else is going on elsewhere in this save. Deadline day, the biggest deal so far is Mikel Antonio from West Ham to Lyon. There will be the occasional hopeful bid for some of the Patreon players uh, with loans throughout the course of transfer deadline day, so there may be the occasional cut here and there as I deal with that off camera or off YouTube, so to speak. Callum Wilson goes to buy Leverkusen. Danilo to... Wow. Juventus selling two fullbacks. Alexandro and Danilo leaving the Italian outfit. I'm not sure what they're going to do there in that case. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has gone to Monaco. And Alessandro Bastoni has gone to Manchester United from Inter. Man United also signed... Um... Martinez, Lautaro Martinez as well. So they've got Lautaro and Lissandro. And I've loaned out one of the youngsters that was with me. George Goddard is 50 rated and my fourth or fifth choice central midfielder. So that makes sense for him to go out on loan to Finn Harps for a year, get some first team experience more than he would with me and maybe see some growth. You never know. Lorenzo Pellegrini is also coming to the Premier League as well, leaving Roma to come to Liverpool for £60.1 million. So some big deals. Duvan Zapata moves from Atalanta to Bayern Munich for 
and there may well be some more bigger deals went through prior to deadline day that we haven't seen here yet. Tomar Lamar moving. Tomar Lamar, as previously mentioned, has moved from Atleti to Newcastle United. Edson Alvarez to Athletic Club de Bilbao. Well, as transfer deadline day ends, let's show you the biggest deals so far in this save, in this window. We sit 18th in the league with one win, two draws, two defeats. I'm happy enough with that so far. We could have been better off as well if we'd have held on against Barrow for a little bit more. So transfer history, biggest deals in this window. Harry Kane to PSG. For the same price as Lisandro Martinez to Manchester United, intriguingly. Jude Bellingham to Juventus, 87.8. Florian Wirtz to Dortmund. We've seen that before. Trent went to Real Madrid. We saw that in the first episode. Rodrigo to Manchester City. Saliba to Villarreal. Schick to Real Madrid. Militao to Arsenal. Wow. Usman Dembele to Chelsea. Tiro Immobile to Barcelona. Pau Torres to PSG. Yuri and Timba to Leverkusen. Presnel Kimpembe to Arsenal as well. Serge Gnabry to Juventus. Angel Correa to Porto. Lenormand to PSG. Gabriel to Napoli. Sergi Dada to Arsenal is a weird one. Danny Carvajal to Chelsea. Bobby Firmino has gone to Sevilla. Sergi Canales has gone to Leipzig. De Vrij to Atleti. And the series decent. Going to Bayern Munich. And Ben Yedder to the Premier League at 32. Iglesias to Mar... AC Milan. I was going to say Marlan. Uh, John Stones to Spurs. Jose Gaia to Liverpool. Comrade Lima to Inte. Might be going to Bayern Munich in real life. Alvaro Morata to Manchester United. Okay, mate. Getraud has gone to Freiburg. Uh, Jared Bowen to Roma. Conor Gallagher to Lille for a minimal fee, really, considering his potential in-game. Elmas, Kefren Turo is very good, or gets to be very good. I'm not sure what he's currently rated at, to be honest. I probably need to scout him, to be fair. And if you'll bear with me, we'll be back down there momentarily. There you go. Taps over to Fiorentina. Di Lorenzo, Jonathan David to Lyon, moving within France. Any other ones that would pique our interest? Yaki Williams actually leaves Bilbao. I wouldn't believe that for a second. But Savonier goes to Leverkusen as well. Leverkusen have been busy in the window, as have uh, Juventus actually. But that rounds out all of our business. However, we have some scout stuff to discuss. That's going to be a no from me. That, however, might be something. 900 grand as well. Ruben Richardson might be a decent player, you know. 70 to 94. In your come, pal. So, Marshall is 55 rated, but with potential that could get him quite high. 63 reflexes already is going to be very good indeed. So, with some training, he could become a half-decent goalkeeper. Then, 63 rated Ruben Richardson is actually an improvement already on... Well, that's a decision to be made. Does Richardson come in ahead of Cunningham? Or does he not? I think I'll let these two go in that regard. We're not going to need the money. Does Richardson start ahead of Cunningham? At the minute, I'd be apprehensive to actually say yes to that. And this guy is not a defender. He's still training as a centre mid. He's hopefully nearly there. Six more weeks and he will be. Pearson, a cam... Physically looks okay. Technically looks okay. But could certainly grow. 54 rated is already good enough to have an impact. We'll train his weak foot and then maybe we'll try and train his dribbling after we've trained his passing. Toma just has some pace to make an impact. But other than that, he's absolutely awful. And that will round out episode two. So fan objectives, please, lads. Do let me know in the comment section what you think I should do and what you think I should also do if I don't get the objective complete. We'll add those in over the next couple of days once I've got a graphic made up. Might be a couple of episodes before that gets implemented, but hopefully you are continuing to enjoy this. I very much am. That's all for us for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on more. Daily, it will be coming to you. And hopefully we can grow the channel a little bit off the back a bit as well. I'll see you next time.